is going on guys? My name is John Mabaki I'm from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Kimetsu no Yaiba Night Demon Slayer. This is episode 13, something more important than life. Now last episode we finally got to see Zenetsu actually pop out of his little bubble. Although granted apparently it's only due to the fact that he actually only is a badass when he's like doesn't have consciousness or when he's asleep. Which, bit of a shame because... I kind of, I really like that version, and I want to see more, but apparently, like, a lot of people really like him later on in the manga, and, of course, it always says how people end rather than how they're introduced. I mean, introdu introductions of a character are always great and essential, but at the end of the day, it always matters how they end up. For example, the biggest one I could easily um, point out of a character that I really didn't like at first, but became a gr I thoroughly enjoyed him, was Jacuzzi Splot from Bakano because and if you've never seen Bakano watch it it's one of my top five animes of all time um but Jacuzzi Splot it was very similar to uh Zen, um, Zenetsu in the same way where he was just very he was a crybaby his own granted Zenetsu takes the cake as one of the most annoying characters uh off the get-go I think the only one is um Minori probably from uh <laughs> My Hero Academia although he, he he's a bit of a lovable Annoyance, more on the annoyance side, but he has some lovable traits. At least Zenetsu has doesn't Zenetsu doesn't even have that <laughs> whatsoever. Um, but yeah, Jacuzzi Splot basically happened to be like this crybaby whiner, always wanted to run away. But then, like as the series progresses, like yeah, that's how you fucking turn into a man. That's how you become a man, Jacuzzi Splot. And like. It, all that matters is how a character ends up. That's all I basically want to say. Now, I, I, I don't want to take too long uh, with this. So, guys, without further ado, let us jump in to episode 13 of Kometsu no Yaiba. Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. By the way, this animation of this show is phenomenal. Euphotable has outdone themselves. I, I don't think... I, I know I said this practically in every single episode... But, god damn, are they really damn good at what they do. And I don't care what anyone says, like, this is something that I'm probably going to con consistently bring up. Why? Because I like it. Oh, and one other thing, like, uh, I know one other person was saying, like, whoa, why, why are you, like, reacting during the video, not wait until after the video to react? That's not what I do. And besides, there is nothing more annoying than... Huh. Yeah, that's cool. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> and what part? Like, I, I, I can't visualize that. Like, you have... There, there is too much dead time in my videos, I feel like. And granted, I'm not going to be talking about the entirety of the thing because that's less of a reaction, more of just someone talking over the video but my reactions and how I do them is I react to what I am currently thinking whether it be of the of the scene in question that's currently showing up on the screen or something that has piqued my interest or curiosity so that's how I react if you don't like how I react I'm sorry but I don't know I feel like if I were just to sit and just like watch the entire show and not react to what I'm thinking why the fuck even? What, that's not that's not a reaction. It's boring, is what it is. Especially that the fact that I can't add sound and all that jazz. Um, but it doesn't make that. But now looking now about eh, looking at the last episode, it explains why Zenetsu had his eyes closed when he pulled out his uh, sword and had that lightning effect. All right, something more important than life. Please be more of a badass later on. Like, actually grow some spine. Please, please be a jacuzzi splut. Please. I want to root for you. Oh, that's some good coffee. <laughs> Quote a little note. For the coffee lovers, this is a stump town. From Oregon. Good shit. Zenetsu, at this point, you should just carry around a bunch of fucking things to knock you out. 
or go to sleep. I will give you NyQuil. I will give you ZQuil or whatever. Oh yeah, it's start up. Uh, now he's starting to get to um, the effects of the other demon. <laughs> Did he just get forced out of the house? By the way, this is such a unique like boss um, fight if you think about it, just in general. But he's I mean he's already he already he's already starting to um pick up. He's already starting to pick up how to do it. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, this is so good! Yay, if he can't get close to him. You know what? Maybe he's going to use one of his um, water techniques to launch himself towards him. With enough force that even the, uh... That even the, um... Force of the room flipping... Won't be enough. And it changes really fast. Finally showing his eyes too. Well, but just think if this guy is like an ex member, the other two before him weren't even real members, they just lied about that. Oh, is this gonna show him how he turned into a demon? Or, you know, maybe not be a dick and show him, like, or, and tell him exactly how to make himself better. Instead of just saying, ah, oh, you're trash. Damn. Your teacher's a bit of a dick. By the way, f word of advice, that d that kind of training doesn't help you all that much. So he... So, yeah, that's how he became a demon? Very interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh god, that would just give me a freaking that would cause me get me so nauseous. It's making me dizzy and I'm just watching. Oh shit, even more. He's not stepping on the papers. Huh. 
He's learning on the fly. Great. This is how you show growth in a character. This exactly. Oh, he's going to see the line. Oh. The show does not deserve to be this good, but it is. In terms of the animation, again, every single episode, I feel like I'm going to like be freaking fangirling over this animation. And it goddamn deserves it. Y'all can fight me if you want. I'll be at Anime Expo. <laughs> Come at me. Oh, you can see it. It made him almost hesitate, almost. Thank you. I thought he was gonna. He thought he might say something. He might. He might still say something, though. Let's see. Oh, those ones are starting to hit him now. Because he did that, the large breath. Yep. Yep. Can't show pain. How old is Tanjiro supposed to be? Because I remember he took him a couple years for training. And I forgot what age he started off as. Dude, that was... That's like one of the most... That's like one of the coolest... Like, techniques I've seen. Not gonna lie. It's so unique, too. I'm sorry. Oh, cool. That's pretty handy. That's actually really cool. That's a cool blade. Kitty. Is that a seal on its neck? Oh. You know what? Maybe that seals to prevent others from seeing it. Possibly? Guess. D total guess. Yep. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So it showed itself just to do that. That's so cool! Yeah, Zanet. Okay, so, yeah. By the way, what happened to Zanetsu as he was flying in all, flinging all over the place? Technique was incredible. Hmm. Maybe he mistook the words, though. Possibly? I don't know. In my writing. Oh. Aren't Trish. And you know what? They're, they're finding their peace. At the end of it. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful. By the way, what happened to that boar guy? Totally forgot. Oh my god, I can't believe Tanjiro's fucking dead. <laughs> uh, 
I do apologize for like leaning back, and if it's a little bit hard to hear me, I'm main reason why is because my lower back is uh, hurting again. So leaning back like this is very helpful. Let me actually lower the uh, camera then. <laughs> No, let's see. It's gonna be the boar guy. It's gotta be the boar guy. Maybe that's who he smells blood from. Because there's no other demons, right? They're all dead. I totally forgot that was Nezuko in there. First, I, I didn't realize what it, what it was he was holding. Yeah, they picked that up, I think, when they first was walking up to that house. By the way, I'm I'm actually really curious for the viewers. Like, what was your very what was your favorite like fight scene, or favorite demon that he's fought? I still I still like the t uh, the guy with the tamar uh, the tamari girl and the um, guy with the eyes. Still my favorite fight so far. Mm. Only two stories. Oh shit. Is he bleeding from the back of his head? Is he <laughs> I I think you're good. I don't remember like I know someone had mentioned who this guy's name was, but I I don't think they've officially announced it here yet. Oh, that's why he went after Nezuko. I don't even remember seeing him. I legitimately don't remember him during this election. I legitimately don't remember him at all. I only remember the girl, him. Him. I mean, Zin okay, so the girl with the butterfly is Zenetsu. Um, Tanjiro, the guy with the scar, Bakugo looking ass. And that's literally it. That's all I remember. Giving you props, Zenetsu, though. Giving you props. Mmm, okay. Yeah, by the way, hair, like, main character guy, like, guys in, like, that are in this, like, type of 
genre of main characters, that this is how you do an MC. Well. Well, this is one of the ways. There's multiple ways to make a good MC, but this is one of them. Shield here, are you listening? <laughs> I have to get like one one little jab in at Shield Hero. And they don't and he doesn't even know who it is. But none of them know that it's it's freaking Nezuko. I wonder how it's gonna how it's gonna be after the after he shows it. Why is walking around with that? Damn. That guy is obviously more physically powerful than you, and yet he is still keeping him back with, from with everything. Cartnike, I don't know if you're watching this. But this is how you make like a character that was really annoying have some good redeeming qualities about him. That's when he walks out. Damn. The show is so good. God damn. The series is so good. Both are good, okay? Starting to get some flashbacks. Is it gonna be next episode? He's gonna fight him. Oh shit! Although, granted, Tanjo, you should probably like step in before you're like like contemplating what you're going to do. Probably should step in a little bit faster. You pissed him off, too. This is how it's gonna end. This is how it's gonna end! Okay. Yep, yeah, it is gonna- the next episode's gonna be him and him fight. Oh, shit. I'm totally looking forward to that. Alright, I need to go skip a little bit farther in. Um, because I need to see the extras really quickly. We do know that like Zenetsu like falls in lo <clears throat> falls in love with Nezuko though, so I mean the ending. All right, what you got? Legend of the Eight Samurai. <laughs> the House of the Wisteria Family Crest. That's right! He's been fighting without actually fully healing in so long. That's so impressive. But yeah, anyways guys, great episode. I still think the last fight with the Tamar Tamar um, Tamari and the guy with the eyes is still the best choreographed fight and just in, and just in terms of pure enjoyment 
This one, though, is probably the best mechanically speaking, like, choreographed. In terms of, like, uniqueness, yeah, this one's probably my favorite. Because of the... I don't know! No, honestly, because... I think the other one cheats a little bit because it was two and one, and then they're using their own powers in, in um, conjecture. Conjecture? Con conjecture? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and those two powers were able to work with each other, and that's what made it really interesting. Um, and then they had a one-on-one -on -one fight, basically. But the fact that this... Guy was, especially with the whole, um, with the drums, that's such a cool, unique mechanic in a fight, in a fight thing. Great. Absolutely phenomenal. Like, every single one of these demons all has their own unique, one unique personalities, backstories, and powers, and it's just a treat watching every single episode. And I'm really glad that Memory was kind of... Memory NK was kind of the one that guaranteed me to watch this show because I was like, I didn't know what to watch this season besides the continuation of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero and Boku Ben, which I'll be reacting to later. Um, and he was... And I actually said, what should I like... Like, what should be on my radar? And he was... And I know some... Like, this was getting a lot of traction. And I, I, it didn't really appeal to me at first. But he was like, yeah, you should check it out, man. And honestly, like, his recommendation and his basically um, approval of the series was what finalized me into watching this. And so I gotta thank Memory NK for that. But absolutely, this, this show is phenomenal. And I, I've been loving every single moment of it. The show needs to get dubbed... This show really needs to get dubbed because I need to show it to my roommates because I think they'll fall in love with it. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction of Demon Slayer episode 13. Next week, I will not be there on time because I'm going to be in Anime Expo. Instead, I'm going to have some other shows lined up for you guys in the meantime. So look forward to that. Um, but I do apologize. But yeah, um, I know next week is when the next new season starts, I believe. I'm not sure. I need to look at it. I think it's the following week, possibly. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the anime season. Because um, this is technically the end of the anime season for the most part for most shows. Um, but this is just a halfway point for the show. And I'm thoroughly looking forward to the remainder of the show. So, But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.